Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawn Most for Profit. It's a bit late now, it's getting a bit dark, but I've just tidied up. I've saw that to come say that I had a bit of a uh, an ordeal with servicing, but I've sold that and I've serviced this SP470. But I've got this Colcast 450E and this is revving up and down slightly, it's like vibrating quite a lot as well. I'm going to take it outside and start it and show you what I mean. And the carburetors are pretty good on these, they don't get clogged too much. I'm going to show you how it runs. And I'm going to show you how to check the flywheel key, which is actually situated at the top of this crankshaft. It's not too difficult to do if you've got um, the right tools, but it can be uh, a bit of a pain without them and I'll show you why in a minute. So let's start this up and I'll show you how it runs. So it's uh, pretty dark as I've said, this is kind of uh, looks a bit like night vision doesn't it but I'm going to start this more up, just watch it vibrate, listen to it rev up and down a bit, I'll prime this from the wrong side, it's hard to pull over as well, when you pull this over it, it wants to kick back, I notice see it's already got a broken a pull cord handle in here as well. When it kicks back, that's normally a sign, a telltale sign that there's something wrong with the keyway. idea you see it sort of twisting and jumping about can't you and obviously you can hear it as well so what you need to do in these cases is you need to take this start a recall cover off and we need to remove this actual nut that's on the top of this crankshaft so I'm going to do that right now so I'm just going to unzip these three parts here it's very similar on any type of mower so I'm just going to take these off and the cover will come off on all different types of lawnmowers in you know various ways but take that off what you need to get off is this actual nut on the top of here which is quite large before you start any repair on a lawnmower just pull this spark plug lead off here make sure it's completely off and nothing's going to go wrong I'm not going to have any accidents take that out of the way what I'm going to show you is I've actually got a 15 16 size socket here which is quite large and obviously if I want to get this off you think you could just undo it but the problem with that is the whole thing turns and underneath the blade turns as well so the only way you can get this off with normal tools if you like without any impact tools is to stop the blade rotating underneath which obviously is a, a tricky job and you can do that by putting a plank of wood underneath but even then it's a real difficult job so what I used to do is I used to take these to a local car garage and ask them to unzip them for me but I've recently purchased this uh, Ryobi one plus impact tool and it's even powerful enough just to zip these off so I'll show you what I mean with this impact tool I can actually put this on here and this is quite a powerful uh, battery one it's also got variable speeds I've shown on some of my other videos and if I put that on here you'll see it's even powerful enough to take this whole thing off you see it's actually stayed in the socket and actually, actually lift this cup off here and what I'm going to show you in a minute is this flywheel key so take a look at this down this, this is a crankshaft here with these threads on. You see this keyway in here, how it's in two separate pieces almost. One bit's kind of slid across that side, and this keyway is the original part here where it's actually sheared. So what happens with this is, it throws the timing off and it causes these vibrating issues that you're getting. This is a flywheel here, and this connects with this ignition coil. And if it sparks at the wrong time, that's where you get horrible, horrible vibration, like the one I'm getting at the minute. So this is how you check uh, the crankshaft key on a lawnmower. Now the next procedure you're going to need to do is get a flywheel puller and pull this flywheel off. So you get a flywheel puller, basically thread it into these two holes here. And then you tighten it up on itself and it will pull this flywheel off. A lot of people can tap this from underneath but you have to be very careful not to ruin the magnets. And what you need to understand is, even though that's only sheared, well this one's sheared quite a lot, but even if it's only sheared a little bit, the actual influence it has over the width of this actual flywheel against this ignition coil is obviously amplified because it's a wider part. You can see what I mean by that, can't you? So you're getting your timing at the wrong time, you're getting your spark at the wrong time, and everything's trying to do everything just at slightly the wrong time, causing these vibrating issues. So, so if you have a sheared flywheel key like that, 
on any lawnmower you've got to take this flywheel off and drop a new keyway in and drop this back on and another thing I will show you now is that one of the easiest ways to get this off these have actually brakes on the back you see this brake that actually sits against the flywheel so you might want to just get someone to hold this up for you so you can get this flywheel off as well now the problem with these newer 450E and 500E engines like I've got on this one here is that you can't actually kind of get the flywheel off in the uh, let's call it the redneck style where you just bump it off from the bottom with a rubber mallet and I probably shouldn't show you this because you should get a puller but for anyone who doesn't want to buy a, a puller if you get a couple of these bars here you can actually slide them in from underneath here you see I really probably shouldn't be showing you this because I get loads of negative comments but if you don't want to buy a puller you can actually just put it in from here and you'll actually get this flywheel you see it's popping off you can actually do it from there now that ain't ideal it's not the correct way to do it but if you're struggling and you've got a sheared flywheel key and you just want to get it off or it's going in the tip then that's how you can get it off because it's got this whole like shroud around it the other ones the older brig style ones such as that one sat there they don't have that they just have the flywheel key um, sat in the crankshaft and the actual flywheel itself you can get to the underside of so let's get this keyway out and we'll go and have a closer look at this so that's what a sheared flywheel key looks like. You can see how much damage there is to that. I'm surprised that actually runs as well as it does to be honest with you because there's a lot of damage on that. You can see how it's got a massive line down the middle of it. So what I need to do with that is just replace it. When I replace this, this lawnmower timing issue will be resolved and this will run perfect. So that's great. I'm going to get another keyway. All you need to look for if you're looking to buy one of these, you just want a crankshaft keyway most of them are rectangular so I'll show you what a new one looks like so there we are there's the actual sheared one and there's the new one you can see how perfect that one is compared to this one probably pretty obvious this you won't believe this little part can make such a difference what we need to do now is just slide this one onto the crankshaft and refit this flywheel and this lawnmower will run as good as new so please don't be too harsh on me if you've seen me yeah get that flywheel off that way but if people are going to bin these for the sake of a flywheel key which I see regularly or I can save them a couple of hundred pounds on a new one by filming videos like this I'm going to show them a cheap way to do it as well so that just sits on there and you get this here you just slide this down you can see that you can see the difference can't you straight away you can see how everything lines up perfectly nothing's offset this this way you definitely won't have a timing issue with this lawnmower now that's set there so I'm going to refit this cup here Put this part on here, refit that on, and that just slides on there, just screw that back down there. I'm going to put this bolt on here, and with this impact tool I'm just going to zip that up, and that'll be job done when I put this recoil back on. I'll have replaced a sheared crankshaft keyway on this Qualcast 450E Briggs & Stratton petrol lawnmower. So I've just tightened that bolt back up, and slide this cover back on here. Retighten all these parts down and in the morning when the sun comes up and it's uh, late enough on a Sunday I'll fire this lawnmower up without doing anything else and I'll show you exactly how this runs So next day now as you can probably tell I'm just going to drag this out and we'll just start this up and see if we've uh, cured this running problem with it revving up and down Just remember to put this back on first before I try and start it up as well So let's start this lawnmower again and just see how it runs now we've uh, changed that keyway, should make a big difference. Let's see what it's like. can hear that's running nice and even now and if you watch when I just pull this over you can see it's not actually dragging this back out my hand this is what's called kickback it's not actually kicking back anymore it pulls over nice and even see nothing getting stuck nothing snapping back at me And that's why sometimes you just need to check for a sheared keyway in the top of this crankshaft on these lawnmowers. 
So I hope this has helped you out. If it has, please do me a massive favour and just head to my new website, which is repairlawnmowersforprofit.com. That has all tips and tricks on there, including a massive article about hunting and surging, and what to do if your lawnmower's vibrating, other tips that you can use alongside the one I've just shown to help you get your mower running right again. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, and I'll see you again next time.